right, let's move on to the uh, the NFL Combine questions. Um, I think that uh, this this story happens every few years, where a guy, and this year it was Darius Geis, former LSU running back, comes out and says he was asked if he liked men, and also he was asked if his mom was a prostitute. Now, let me say this. If I own an NFL team, and anybody on my team is stupid enough to ask questions like these at the NFL Combine, when you have seen this story happen time after time after time, a guy comes out and says, man, they asked me some crazy questions. I couldn't believe it. If you are dumb enough to ask these questions, then I think I would fire you, all right? Just because I don't believe you get any benefit from them. And also because you have to understand how quickly the left-wing media is going to take this and treat it like an insanely serious story. I don't believe you asking a Combine interviewee who you probably believe is straight, do you like boys, ha ha ha, is worth anything. Not to mention questioning somebody's sexual preference should never be part of an interview for a job either way. Like, it just shouldn't be, all right? But the idea that you would be so dumb to ask this question is to me a fireable offense because it speaks to a level of cluelessness with both what the law is and also the way stories are covered that I couldn't honestly trust you to write a paycheck and put uh, your uh, put my name on it, all right? I don't understand this. I would fire the people on the spot if I found out that it was my team and also, moreover, I think this is a failure of the team itself. Because if I were a coach, I would sit down with my coaching staff and I would say, guys, the media is looking for any possible story they can tell about us being biased in any way. These stories go viral instantaneously because this is what the media wants to talk about. They want to talk about us not liking and giving equal treatment to gay guys. They want to talk about us not treating these players fairly. They want controversy. So don't ask controversial questions in these 12-minute interviews. If you really think that we need to probe these guys psychologically and see how they respond to difficult questions, then I'm going to give you an answer. We probably don't need to draft those guys. 